Good morning, St. Petersburg, and welcome to our show. We are your hosts, Annie and Eliza. Today we will shine light on many new techniques and products. Along with our local news, today we have a special guest, Becky Thatcher. Now, how are you this fine morning? Good, thanks. Actually, I feel great because I just got engaged. Oh, I wish we could have seen that. Actually, we can. Say, Becky, was you ever engaged? No. Would you like to? I reckon so. What is it? Well, you just tell a boy that you love him that you won't ever, ever marry anyone else. And then you kiss. Kiss? What's the kiss for? Well, they always do that. Everybody? Why, yes. Everybody up in love with each other. We can do it some other time. No, now. Please, Becky. I'll whisper it ever so easy. Now you do the same to me. You turn your face away so I can't see. Then I will, but don't tell anybody. Okay, I promise I won't. Now it's all done except for the kiss. Please, Becky. <laughs> now it's all done. And always after this, you know, now you won't ever marry anybody but me. Ever, never, and forever, will ya? No, I'll never love anyone but you, Tom. Certainly. Cer certainly. You choose me, and I choose you at parties because that's the way you do it when you're engaged. It's so nice. I never heard of anything of it before. Oh, it's ever so gay. Why me and Amy Lawrence? Oh, Tom, then I ain't your first you've ever been engaged to. How do I know you will ever love me again? Becky, come back! It wasn't very romantic. So what would you do if you found out you weren't his first fiance? She does have a point. Where's Tom right now? Actually, I don't know. I think he ran away with Joe Harper and Huck Finn. Luckily, we can cut to Lucy in the field to see. If you can see that brown speck in the distance, you'd be seeing the three runaway boys. Lucy, you should know that that storm is coming in soon. It's far away from me, but it's quickly approaching on the boys. I see it right. Their boat is captain at present. The storm is right over the boys now. We'll never know if we survived. I wish I hadn't been so mean. Oh, Tom, if you're watching, I forgive you. You can be engaged again. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Are you tired of being covered in boards? Do you want an easy solution? Luckily for you, Wardaway Incorporated has developed Spunk Water. Only 95 cents. Mail us within the next 24 hours and you will receive a dead cat free of charge. That's right, you'll get a dead cat, value 50 cents, and Spunk Water, value $1.49 together, for only 95 cents. Welcome back. We've been struck with sadness in the form of young death. Three young men have lost their lives. Thomas Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, and Joseph Harper. Our Lucy Lou is away at the funeral. According to Lucy, the boys are actually not dead. They were just playing childhood games. It seems as if our prayers have been answered, and the boys are well and good, and all is well. The boys are alive! It's a miracle! <laughs> all is well. Now we move on to our next segment, the trial of Muff Potter. Potter is accused of killing Doc Robinson and is being tried for his sins. But first, a commercial break. Has this ever happened to you? I spilled liquids all over my table. I spilled liquids all over the floor. I spilled liquids in my pants. Hi, I'm Ryan Hina, and I'm going to be showing you a great new product. It's called the Sham Woohoo. Not the Sham Woohoo. It's called the Sham Woohoo. Say it like that. It's the greatest advancement in towel, chamois, and rag technology. Don't believe me? Watch this. If you have a spill on your table, an ordinary rag or towel would just soak it up oh so boringly. But thanks to the sham, woohoo! Not only will you not soak up the liquid, but you just push it off the table. Still not impressed? If you order it out, we'll throw out a second sham, woohoo! For free! That's right, you're getting two sham, woohoo! For the price of one. That's a $5 value for just $19.99. So what are you waiting for? Order your sham, woohoo! And you'll be saying, woohoo! Every time. This show is brought to you by Aunt Polly's Painkiller. Aches and pains ailing you? Sores and colds interrupting your work? Then try Aunt Polly's Painkiller and it'll be gone! Side effects may include heartaches, 
spontaneous combustion, sores, nausea, and death. Do not take if pregnant using other medicine under 45 or over 47. Not intended for the consumption of cats. If you notice any changes after taking Aunt Polly's painkiller, consult your doctor. Unless he is dead. In which case you have a problem. Buy some to the hay. So good morning to you laddies. My name is Allison Colbolt. My father is quite possibly the worst criminal in the world, according to some boys. He doesn't seem to deny his sins, though, since he was drunk at the time and blames and sailed. You were at the scene leaving your house on the night of the murder. Yes, your honor. And this knife found in your hand, Miss Potter. Yes, your honor. And you were found near the graveyard on the morn of the murder. Yes, your honor. I call Tom Sawyer to the stand. Tom Sawyer is called to a defense. Tom Sawyer, where were you on the 17th of June about the hour? I was in the graveyard. <gasps> a bit louder. Speak up, you were. In the graveyard. Were you anywhere near Horse William's grave? Yes, sir, right near it. Were you hidden? Yes, I was, sir. Tell us what happened. Joe and Potter and Doc Robinson were grave robbing. And then Indian Joe pulled out a knife and told Potter how he wanted revenge for being sent to jail. And then Joe pulled out a knife and he killed the dog. What's this? Joe is running away. I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, decky pass, and I'm on bound. We have a fugitive on the loose. What will come the, of us next? <gasps> I'll pronounce it. Injun Joe to be guilty and Mutter in his Well, a sign turn of events. Right now we have an interview with Tom Sawyer himself. What was it like being at the graveyard at that night? Well, you see Thank you, Tom. You seem very brave. Back to you, Eliza. Well, that's all we have time for today. We've got an engagement, an escape, a death, and a murder trial. Make sure you come back tomorrow for more St. Petersburg news. Have a good morning, St. Petersburg. It's all painted blue. I'm wishing too. It will come true. And then we'll finally break through. pterodactyl light stream and Katie is gone and I don't know what happened. Should I be concerned? Oh god. Katie? I don't see Katie. I don't think it should be taking her this long. Oh god. Alright, let's go find Katie. Up oh, my tripod up. I'm kind of concerned about that pterodactyl sound was. I don't, I don't know what that was. Please let me say her in the next five seconds. I'm gonna find her dead body, aren't I? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cry. I literally am. Why don't I see her? I literally don't see her. 
my god. Yet. There she is. child run <laughs> would you like a rose do you like a rose take a rose <laughs> hi mom next time daytime next time daytime i feel like a car is coming for me please don't turn Oh god, I feel like they're turning. Oh my god. Go, go, go! This is the ice cold Michelle fight for the white gold. This one for them good girls and good girls. Try this feet. Oh, living it up in the city. Got tricks on, we'll say hello. Got a kiss myself, I'm so pretty. Too hot, hot damn. Got a police in the fireman, too hot, hot damn. Jack, I'm on a retirement, I'm too hot, hot damn. Say, you know who I 